Bye bye, piney sites and cows and Cheddar Gorge cliff tops. Coming back a route I did coming up on one of my walks this year. Um, and it was quite a long hike up actually, but I always said I prefer going down it. It is a nice route down when it's very hot like this. Um, in a way, the cows being where they were has actually pointed out to me that I can actually walk the rest in the shade now and, and really cool down. So, here's some woods here and there's the quarry down the bottom. I've explored a lot of this area in the past. In the winter, I do want to force myself up this route and go through that, go through that gate. I want to, I want to know where this goes. I'll probably be able to get it online, but at the moment it's very, very overgrown. But I'm looking forward to doing that route. These are sort of what I, they're local really, these walks, even though I have to come to Cheddar from Weston. They're actually, these are my local walks. These are my local walks, everyone. Oh, that is such, this is so cool. God, what a brilliant idea to come down this way and just chill out, take your time. You've got a whole hour. You really have. You've got time to visit the ladies, maybe fill your bottle up with water, just in case you can't get a drink in town. <sighs> yeah, let my face cool down. Oh, this is brilliant. This is, yeah, good way to end the walk on a very hot day, actually. Without having to worry about walking down, you know, ankle-breaking terrain. Um... And in peace, of course. In peace. There's nobody, not many people. I've hardly ever seen anyone. In fact, I've never passed anyone. I've just discovered a few little tiny deviations of the, the path coming down from the quarry. I've seen these two boulders. Then the memory card went. Then the battery went. Then I met two people. I was chatting to them there. I said, oh, where does this go? They said, it joins up a bit further down to the main track you're on. And there's also lots of other little paths that join up. So I thought, well, uh, I wasn't going to bother doing any more videoing. But basically, I've put the, literally linked the battery charger up to the camera straight. Rather than mess with um, batteries at the moment. I thought, well, I've never been down here before. They said it links up with the main track. <sighs> so that's good, isn't it? I've got half an hour. I can't miss it. That's what always frightens me, that I might miss the bus. I'll just check the time again. Um, anyway, what it is, I'm cooling down a lot. Yeah, it's not even half five yet. The Wells bus to Weston will only just be starting to get ready to leave Wells, so... You know, we've got time. I'm never quite sure if it leaves Wells at 25 to or 25 past. It seems to fluctuate. Anyway, they said this joins up. I just wonder if it does. <laughs> yeah, my legs are just starting to feel a bit wobbly now. I mean, it's going to be like... Um, um, nine hours of walking. Uh, I've got to go on the bus as well, yeah. And, um, it's, uh, I'm glad I've, I've found this, I'm glad I took the decision to come this way. Because if I'd done the Cheddar Gorge area, I'd been right into the sun, you know. So this is all new to me. But it's nice to do an alternative. And it looks like we've got some views as well. Ah, oh, I know where I am now. I know where this is going to open up. I've never been this way. I didn't even know this this path existed, actually. I wondered if there was a path along here. It's going to join up with a gate in a minute, a bit further down. Wow. That's really good, isn't it? I'm making discoveries all the time now, I am. 
bit of sun again. Be a nice view from here when the sun's not out. And um, I can actually see hot air balloons going over cheddar. Don't know if it'll come out. Let me see. It's a yellow one and a blue one. Yeah, they might might be <laughs> pointing right into the sun, so it's not very clear. We've got the reservoir over there. Yeah, I didn't know. Do you know what? You, it's amazing how you find things, isn't it? I didn't even know this path existed. I didn't even know this path existed. I'll have to fill up one of my bottles from the toilet area because uh, I doubt if I'll be able to get a drink and it'll be hot on the bus. Ah, here we go, we've joined up again. So basically I've just skirted round there. I've never really taken any notice of this before. What's that on there? Yeah, there's a, the other quarry there. Yeah, I don't think they shut the toilets at seven. So... Basically, I'm just about on target now. Just about on target. That was a nice little deviation, wasn't it? And it looks like you can actually go back down into the town as well. That way. Right, so though I wasn't going to do any video, and I've used the whole memory card again. Just using up... Um, just put a brand new memory card on. Got the battery charger on. So I thought, well, why not? And for a penny, but it does take me an awful lot of time, you know. Editing, going through the videos, adding photos, then transferring it to disk, then transferring it to either Facebook and YouTube and Blogger. It takes a while. Um, I've only just, I've only placed two videos of the Cheddar Circular Hike online at the moment um, there is actually there is three there's uh, part four so I put on early because it was about Longwood uh, I wanted to share it early because people wanted to go and visit Longwood before they close it for the winter I do in a minute I turn up a little lane uh, though this one will take me straight down into cheddar I reckon it does I've never done that so I need to get some water God, I thought I smelled pot then it was either pot or paint Still exploring, folks. I carried on down the lane, and now I've come on this little track. I've never been here before. It's amazing. I don't know where I am at the moment. Don't want to miss a bus. Oh. 
Aha. Not for sure, don't look quite. Oh, I think I'm near the pub. I think I'm near the pub. Thirty-eight. I wonder if I have to go to the loo.